Hi guys, we are here at my home in Seattle, Washington. It's May 2020 and we are in extended lockdown. I hope everybody is staying safe and sane. So DHL just delivered this package to my home. What I expect is that it contains a modernized version of this little machine here. This is the Sinclair ZX Spectrum 48K model. The box here contains a ZX Spectrum Next in the accelerated version. Since I am sure that there are hundreds of unboxing videos of this machine right now, I decided that this video will only be part unboxing and mostly about initial user experience. Um, let's get started, shall we? So, let me see what is inside this box. Here we have the actual ZX Spectrum box. Okay, very pretty box. This is the front, and this is the back of the box. Um, this project actually has a Facebook group and it probably was the best way to keep track of its progress. So if you were a backer and were open to using Facebook, this project transparency was actually quite good. Okay, let's open this up. Here we have the actual computer, good shape. Nice. So this is the manual. Shiny. So this had its own design and creation process. You can see how sophisticated and comprehensive this is. Mm. And this little box here. Oh my. Let's get this out here. Okay. This little box here it contains the power adapters Let's see, it's also for plugs for international um, connectors. Okay. okay, so you might have noticed that the packaging got ripped here and here a little bit, but it's not a big issue for me because I don't plan to resell it and it's mainly a machine for me to program with. Okay, so you you can see them side by side. This is the ZX Spectrum original 1982 48K model. This is the ZX Spectrum Next. Both were designed by the same designer, Rick Dickinson. Great designer. I always admired his work. So you can see the original had rubber keys and this one has more laptop-like keys. Okay, I'm preparing this to get plugged in right now. So since we're in the US, I picked this adapter here. I suppose it goes here and it just snaps in, I guess. Yep, like that. And then the other end of the cable. This is this is the power connector and here is where you plug it in. Okay, now I'll be connecting the machine to this monitor here. I got a 12 inch 
four by three uh monitor here because i figured this will be uh the closest to the original aspect ratio and hopefully also in the highest possible quality so this is the hdmi port for the machine and i'll just play, plug in in this hdmi cable into the machine okay i'm now going to turn on the zx spectrum next and i should point out that uh, this machine doesn't have a power button so it's just like this original version so I guess for traditional reasons the, the designers decided that uh, the ZX Spectrum Next shouldn't have a power button either but it does have a reset button so all you have to do is actually just connect the power here so just, I guess I just plug it in here and turn on the okay i'll have to press down on d in order to select the modes you can see enter select mode and skips to next so n for next that looks pretty good and n for next 750 and I guess I use this one and then I press enter. Okay, it looks like it worked. I press spacebar for min. Okay, so all I guess I have to do is, for example, click next basic and say print. I don't know. Where do we have the quotes? Hello. When it says hello, great. It works. Okay. So one day after I received my Spectrum Next, there actually was a firmware update. And what I did was I took out this SD card out of the Spectrum Next and copied the firmware update onto it. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put this SD card back in and turn on the machine again and see what happens. Okay. All right, turns on. You see the test screen. Go to the next cycle and enter. Please update your core. So the instructions tell me to press U in order to update the core. And this is okay. Hold you. Let's see. Okay, this seems like it worked. What do you want to upgrade? Yes. Okay, raising flash. Okay, writing flash. Update it. Turn the power on and on. Okay, let's see what happens now. Turn off. I guess. And now turn it on again. Mm -hmm. Okay, welcome. And the next page, next page. Okay. Okay. 
great. Looks like it worked. Okay, I'll try to test uh, the real-time clock. So I'll do this by going into command line and uh, setting the time, for example, time quote. What time do we have now? 17.32. Uh, and okay and set a date today we have the May 7th, so 7, where's the slash, I guess the slash, oh, 05, okay, looks like it worked, so if we enter something like a date, I put state and time so I'll put the time again great so I am now just quickly checking the Wi-Fi module I do this by entering a couple of commands and try to find my Wi-Fi access spots that are available here so according to the manual I'm um, supposed to enter dot u a r t okay that gets me into some kind of simple um terminal program and then i'm enter a t and it says okay and now to list the access points i'm supposed to say a t plus c w l a p and what it does now is it's listing the access points available in my range here Quit. all right so for the next test i'm going to play a little game and i connected this Competition Pro here to my joystick port 1 and let's see Use the browser here and play for example Dizzy and I'm going to play this in next plus 3 mode Okay, I will use one and now set the Campston stick and enter to start game. I don't know password ABC, I don't know what that means, but let's just play. Okay, see, everything works. Yep, looks like it works and it should be enough for as a test. All right, so this is the accelerated version of the ZX Spectrum Next. So this comes with a Raspberry Pi Zero built in. I'm frankly pretty bad at soldering, so it was important for me that I already have all the components in there that need to be soldered. So in order to test this, all I need to do is um, in look at 
my extras folder I already downloaded a program called Terminex and all I have to do is run it and as you can see it connects and uh, this is a connection to the Raspberry Pi and you can see uh, with a, it accepts Linux commands or Unix commands and yeah, like ls and then you could go to the root file system and look at that yeah you can see how the file system looks like so in this case everything is all right the raspberry pi works okay i hope i was able to give you a few impressions of this new machine I will be working on my Amiga tutorial series next and until then please stay safe.